Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Timing Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Good morning, good afternoon, Divine Time and Tarot family. Welcome, 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 new subscribers. I mean, you guys are really, really, really showing me a lot of love, and I truly, truly, truly appreciate you guys. Y'all, we almost had that 10,000 subscribers. When I hit that 10,000 subscribers, OMG. I am definitely going to be giving away free readings, okay? No doubt about it, okay, y'all? Period. No doubt about it. I got to do something for you guys. For real, for real, for real. Anywho, um, we are here doing a general reading for Aries. This is for the last two weeks of October. And the reason why I'm doing it like this, because that last week is my birthday week which is halloween i am a scorpio sun okay that is gonna be my week i'm just gonna pamper myself if you guys are feeling like you know you want to show some love towards me my paypal my cash app is in the description box or if you, you just want to donate to the channel you know whatever but yeah um so we're doing a general reading for Aries, okay? This is for the last two weeks of October 2021. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, what is going on with you? I've already um, prayed, saged, and shuffled. The Nine of Pentacles fell out for you. Look at you. Looking all good. This is your overall, and these are overall energies. I mean, you're enjoying the fruits of your labor. You're looking good, smelling good. Looks like you're getting a lot of attention. You're stable. You're abundant. What's going on? I love it. I love this energy that you're in right now. You're definitely taking care of yourself. You're like number one. This is self-care big time. You're like moving into that empress status. Yes, you are looking real good. Looking like the empress or the emperor that you are. Period. Period. Somebody's stressing about you, though. Somebody's in their head about you. The Eight of Swords could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But let's see. What are the overall energies, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit that you have for? Look at that. Look at that. Aries. Look at this. This was at the bottom of the deck, and it just flipped over. <laughs> Somebody is in their head about you. The Eight of Swords. Because this is not your energy. No. You. <laughs> nope. This is you right here. You, you got your stuff together. But somebody don't. And they're they're having. They're, they got some anxiety going on. Lack of self-confidence. Um, somebody's afraid to take action towards you possibly. Because they're seeing you as a boss person. So they don't know what they should do. <laughs> they like, mm, maybe I need to step back. She she or he ain't even looking at me, gonna look at me twice. This is what I'm getting. That's what I'm feeling. So you ain't looking at oh, yep, yeah, look at this. Renewal. It just flipped over. It just flipped over. Somebody wants to come towards you, but they don't have the courage to. Yep, yeah, somebody wants to renew something with you, Aries. But they don't have the confidence to come towards you because you're looking, I mean, you're looking too good. You're looking all stable. You know what I'm saying? You're happy. You know, the nine of cups is at the bottom of the of the deck. You know, you, you're taking care of yourself right here. But you are somebody, somebody feels that you are their wish fulfillment, okay? With this eight of pentacles, somebody wants to work on this. You've already ended this with somebody, You've already ended this with the Ten of Swords. You ended this with this person. And they de they definitely want to come back and renew something. You make this person happy. You have definitely turned your back on this person. Okay? Some of you were enlightened about something, you know, with this individual. Let's do some clarifying and see what's really going on here. Let's see what's really going on here. Why is this Nine of Pentacles here for... Aries. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Aries? 
God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit, thank you so much for the clarity and the understanding for Aries. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. I get a couple of little shuffles in here. Look at that. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody definitely wants a second chance with you. This person wants to come in big time and offer you something. Could be a soulmate connection here. Some of y'all could be married to this, could have been married to this person. But someone feels that you, you and them are on the same page. You guys are eye to eye. <laughs> but you like, uh, not anymore. Nine of Pentacles. You standing, you standing by yourself right now. You're standing by yourself right now. This person is definitely spying on you. They're watching you. Mm -hmm. The three of wands. You're waiting on your ships to come in. And your ships have come in as far as you are concerned. You know what I'm saying? Someone is definitely holding on to you, Aries. And you're holding back from someone. This person has a lot of passion for you. You possibly at one point in time had a lot of passion for them too. But something with the will of fortune here, it was destined to be over. It was destined to be over. You know, you got a lot of, you know, new things going on in your life right now. And um, this person sees it. This person sees everything that's going on with you. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Aries? The death card could have ended something with a Scorpio. This is endings. This is transformation. This is change. Ooh, look at this Ace of Cups. Ooh, there is definitely love here. Somebody's definitely in love with you. You also got new love here. Somebody wants to transform this love again. Somebody definitely wants to reconcile with you. This is new beginnings, new love. You know, abundance of emotions. You guys could be, have could have already done met somebody here. This could also be represent marriage, birth, new birth. Somebody definitely wants to transform something. Someone wants a new beginning here with you. But you've ended this cycle. You've ended this cycle. Look at this Ace of Wands. Some of you guys possibly are in a, a, a situation already. Done started a new beginning. Some of y'all probably done start a, a new passionate beginning. I know universe is offering it here to you. You ended something and you started something new. That's for some of y'all, not everybody. Wow. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Ten of Cups. You're happy right now with somebody. Ooh, we, this is emotional fulfillment. Or this is what this person wants with you. They know they can have this with you. But you've ended this. You've ended this. You, mm-mm. You, I get the feeling that y'all have moved on. Because you're standing like very strong here. Like the queen of pentacles, you know? Well, we got at the bottom of the deck the Nine of Cups again. And we got the Nine of Cups here. Y'all happy within yourself. And you got these boundaries. You're standing up for what you believe in. Somebody can't touch y'all right now. Y'all ain't having it at all. And somebody is stressing out. Nine of Swords. Eight of Swords. This could definitely be your Divine Masculine or your Divine Feminine. That's losing it. They're losing it. Yeah. You've gotten clarity about this. That's why I said some of you guys have moved on. What is this Eight of Swords about? Now, this should tell a lot about who's really stressing out. And I'm sure it's your person. I know it's your past person. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah, look at this. The Four of Pentacles, they still holding on to you. Taurus Virgo Capricorn doesn't have to be that sign. It could be any sign here. We got water here. We have water here big time. There's a lot of emotions here. There's a lot of passion. Okay, Leo, Sag, Aries. You could be dealing with a fire sign like yourself that's really stressing out here. 
I mean, they're still holding on to you. They want to work this out with the Eight of Pentacles. Look like you guys are working. You guys are mastering something here. You guys are possibly saving money, holding on to your money. Why is this Eight of Swords here? The Ace of Pentacles. Y'all got three Aces already. And the Ten of Cups here. Oh, my God. Ooh-wee. Somebody definitely wants a new beginning here with you. Y'all money going to be looking good. If it's not already looking good, it's going to be looking damn good. This is finan this financial security as far as I'm concerned. Prosperity. Manifesting. This is what you guys are doing. You know, this could be this is a new financial opportunity. It could be a new business. Your, your business is, is, is really booming right now. This is stability. You look like stability, Aries. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, y'all got new beginnings. Bottom line. Bottom line, but this person definitely wants a new beginning with you. Look at the Nine of Pentacles again. You is not doing none of this. Nope. <laughs> You're not fooling with somebody in your past. You have let that go and you don't want to, you do not want to revisit anyone in the past. Aries, you're done with it. You're done with it. You're moving on. You're starting a new emotional beginning. Some of you guys are starting a new emotional beginning. Possibly with somebody, a, a water sign. Could have a family situation with this person too. Y'all starting a new passionate beginning with this person. Something is going to be transforming here. Something is definitely transforming, okay? Why is the renewal here? Yeah, maybe you're renewing something with a family situation too. The Nine of Wands. So you're no longer guarded. Some of you guys are no longer guarded. And I want to say this in a family situation. Y'all going to renew something in a family situation, okay? Yeah. You're letting your guards down with someone. Some of y'all is just not willing to fight for a renewal here. You're not You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. No. Why is renewal here? You're not fighting for something anymore. The Page of Swords. Told y'all this person is definitely spying on you. Why is renewal here? Yeah, they're regretting the way they treated you. They're crying over spilled milk. They're, they they feeling guilty, despair, heartbreak. They f they feel like they let you down. This person is very isolated because they don't have they don't have any courage right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm mm. God, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Give me okay the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles. Mm mm. There's definitely something going in your favor. There's a lot of abundance coming towards you. Some of y'all could be some inheritance money, inheritance money coming in. Some of you guys are going to be marrying into money. There could be a windfall coming in here for you as far as financially with this will of fortune. This is life cycles. This is good luck, karma. Because somebody's definitely getting some karma right now. The way they treated you, they are definitely feeling it. They are feeling it. But this is movement, positive change, opportunities. That's where y'all headed. Y'all moving away from, you know, all the craziness that you've been going through. Okay? And this person right here is definitely going through karma big time. Big time. I mean, this person is crying by themselves. Okay? Okay? They are, they are literally crying, okay? Yeah. Because of the way they treated you. Didn't I tell you? You looking like the Queen of Pentacles. Look at the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the freaking deck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Aries, congratulations. I'm so proud of you guys. I really am. You guys are no longer putting up with anybody's BS. You know who you are. You know your worth. And you're standing in it. You're definitely standing in, you guys are standing in your power, Aries. Most definitely. Continue to do that because you got nothing but abundance coming in. I think y'all last video was like really, really good too. And this one is really, really good. Y'all just not look, y'all not looking back. Y'all see all the opportunities that you got ahead of you. You are, y'all see this. Y'all see it. Whew. 
Give me chills. Give me chills. I love it. I love it for you guys. Absolutely. Okay, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit, give me some romance angels for Aries. Um, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided, guided to take. And I think this is for you guys that are, that's got a transformation going on in a family situation. Make the effort because there is love here. There is a new beginning here for, with, with you in a family situation, okay? It's, it's here. It's here, okay? Give me some more information for Aries. More information for Aries. Trust. Yeah, trust in it. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Yeah. Now, this is, like I said, this is for you guys that are connecting back in a family situation. The single ones, no. Y'all leave that person behind. Let that person go ahead on because this person that's stressing out, yeah, let them go ahead on. One more for Aries. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Now, this is for you guys that have been through something, you know, that that is that's moving on. You in this nine pen, this single. Yeah, you in this energy. You've learned your lesson. It's time to continue to move on. Somebody definitely has a lot of chemistry with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give me a outcome. Give me an outcome here for Aries. Yeah. Give me an outcome for Aries. What is the outcome here for Aries, guys? What is the outcome here for Aries? What is the outcome for Aries? What is the outcome for Aries? Yeah, somebody's heartbroken. Three of Swords. Now somebody feels the way you used to feel. They broke your heart. Now they're feeling that pain. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't wish no bad on nobody, but it is what it is. This is the Three of Swords. Somebody's very sad. The outcome here, the King of Cups. They're not expressing their emotions, but they got a lot of emotions for you. Give me another outcome here for Aries, guys. Give me one more for... Ooh, that's a lot. Um, mm, We got the Seven of Swords here. And the two of wands. Some of you guys are like at a crossroads. You got this person that's, that's, that's very deceptive that's running towards you. Yeah. Some of y'all, this could be like a same-sex situation too. You're going to have some quick, fast communication coming in from this deceptive person. You guys... Need to move on for real, for real. Yeah. What's the op? Give me some advice. Give me some advice. Mm, the Ace of Swords. You've gotten all the clarity that you need. And you're definitely going to get the victory in a situation, okay? What's the another Nine of Swords? Somebody, your person is stressing out for real, for real. That's the second, I think that's the second nine of swords, eight of swords, eight of swords is here too. But someone whew, is definitely having sleepless nights over you. Awakening, you've been awakened. You've been awakened. That's why you're moving on. You know what this person was doing. You knew that this wasn't going to lead to anything. Things were always at a standstill. So just continue to move on, Aries. Please move on. Okay? That's for the one, the single ones. This family situation, yeah. Trust in it. Trust in it, okay? Make the effort. So, Aries, this is what I have for you. If you guys resonate, please like, 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 like the videos. Share and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.